Falcon Motorcycles occupies a rarefied niche in the custom world. The downtown L.A. shop co-founded by Ian Barry and Amaryllis Knight specializes in old British bikes that Ian rips apart and reimagines into rideable works of art. Basically one-of-a-kind motorcycles that are built around the engines of iconic in their own right post- and pre-war British bikes. Such as their latest creation, the Kestrel, which Falcon will be unveiling at the 2010 Quail Motorcycle Gathering in Carmel. It's a unit triumph, but it's been completely cut in half, completely re-engineered. This particular frame was completely made from scratch. This down tube, this cast piece, all the castings down here, every, the entire frame. Falcon has invested so much time on this bike that it doesn't want to disclose the price. It took more than 2,000 hours to build, including 80 hours on the paint alone, which begs the question, is it art or is it a motorcycle? I, I see it as both. You know, it's a piece of art that you can take off the wall and drive down the street on. The Kestrel is the second bike in a series of 10, the first being the Bullet, which was custom built from a Triumph Thunderbird for actor Jason Lee. So over here is number three. That is a uh, 1951 Vincent Black Shadow. It's important to be able to preserve history that is history, but when it's history that's been modified, it's great to go ahead, as far as we're concerned, and really put imagination to it and turn it into our own thing without destroying something that should have been kept as a time capsule. Ian's fascination with British bikes began at a young age. When I was a little kid, maybe about 12, walking home from school, I was literally ran off the road by a pack of uh, motorcycles. And I just remember in my head seeing Triumph, Norton, like cuff jeans, leopard print. It was a very much kind of a rockabilly, 60s rocker thing happening. And every time I'd see another bike after that, and I, oh, I really like that. It's a British bike. So it just so happens that all of the things that I gravitated towards, all the machines that I naturally gravitated towards, happened to be British. And how will it sound when the Kestrel is fired up for the first time? It will be loud, but it'll be the good kind of loud, not the obnoxious kind of loud. It'll still sound classic and have that um, great triumph noise that you're used to. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.